Originally designed by Kuat Drive Yards for the Galactic Republic, the architense class light cruiser played a crucial role in the later months of the Clone Wars and helped to expand the range and versatility of the Republic Navy by offering a smaller alternative to the Venator class Star Destroyer. The architense was so successful during the Clone Wars that it was kept in service throughout the reign of the Galactic Empire and beyond, long after the larger Venator class had been retired from service. At a length of 325 meters, the Architens class presents the typical wedge shape of a KDY Star Destroyer, though on a far smaller scale. The ship is propelled by three large sublight engines and carries a standard crew complement of 750. The ship also provides basic living quarters for up to 100 passengers and is often used to carry marine contingents for use in boarding actions. The Architens is surprisingly resilient for its size, able to shrug off most low to medium grade weapons blasts using its deflector shielding and layer armor, but this resilience is often stretched to breaking point when faced with anti-ship ordnance, such as proton torpedoes. The weapons complement of the Architens is reasonable and well compartmentalized, including four adjustable quad laser turrets, four sponson mounted double barreled turbo laser batteries, and a number of medium grade concussion missile launchers. Some later refits of the craft were also outfitted with light laser turrets on their ventral hull, further expanding the ship's weapon coverage. The ship also carries a series of particularly advanced targeting and transmission arrays, allowing the vessel to frequently play the role of a communications ship or fleet support vessel. The bow section of the Architens is split into a fork-shaped frame, lined along the inside with a number of docking clamps. This assembly is used to house a small fighter complement, often consisting of three TIE series starfighters, but can also be used to receive Sentinel and Lambda-class transport craft. Certain vessels of the Architens class, such as the Thunder Wasp, were drastically refitted to add a larger internal fighter bay, allowing the vessels to carry a full squadron of fighters. The Architens is able to maneuver effectively within a planet's atmosphere and is designed to quickly provide infantry support to friendly ground units. This is generally achieved using a contingent of jump troopers deployed through a number of airlocks across the ship's prow and broadsides. While the light cruiser cannot land on a planet's surface, it is frequently held at station keeping a short distance above a ground engagement, remaining within the range of its deployed jump troopers and allowing them to return captured hostiles to the light cruiser's brig facilities. The Architens class was still in service to the Imperial Navy as late as 4 ABY, but construction of new vessels was ceased after a major production centre for the ships was destroyed, and the design was finally deemed too dated to justify replacement shipyard facilities. In spite of this, the ubiquity of the Architens class during its military career resulted in a substantial number of the vessels enduring under independent control, years beyond the production halt. The vessels were often seen in the hands of private security bureaus, or as the pride of particularly fortunate pirate groups, continuing to serve as a reliable and deadly warship, even after almost 30 years of continuous service. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. If you enjoy the channel, why not consider pledging your support on Patreon? For just $1 a month, you'll be able to access the Space Doc schedule to see what's coming up.